By the end of this video, you're going to know about three hidden features that you could start to use right now on Gemini to get 10x more out of it. In fact, it makes it 10x smarter and gives it 10x capabilities. And the best part about this is it doesn't cost anything to begin to implement these things. Okay, now that first hidden feature that we're going to talk about with Gemini is actually going to be on AIstudio.google.com. Don't worry, this is 100% free. This is just a new way for you to be able to access Gemini. And as you can see right here, these models typically actually get updated before the regular regular Gemini ones. So like this model right here, Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview, just had an update just a week ago that you probably didn't hear about unless you listen to my content because I talk about these things all the time. But that's not actually the hidden feature. The hidden feature that we're going to be talking about is if you click on this gear icon right here, you can turn on auto save. Now what this does is now if you come into your history right here, you are going to be able to see all of the past chats that you have had with Google AI Studio because otherwise what would have happened is you would have chats with it, you would stream with it, you might have it make videos or something like that, and guess what? It wouldn't actually save your chat so you wouldn't be able to reference it in the past. In addition to that, you could do searches amongst the chat so you can search for certain things that you might have said in the conversation or that AI Studio might have said back to you. On top of that, what I really love about this chat right here is if we come into Plus, you can add a bunch of different things here. For example, you could add in the link to a YouTube video here. You could take a picture here. You could record audio. You could upload a file. And by the way, this file could be a photo. It could be an Excel sheet. It could be a CSV. It could be a PDF. It could even be a video. And if you click on my drive right here, you'll actually be able to access your Google Drive right here. And this allows you to do some pretty insane analysis. For example, I'm going to type in promo right here. And this is going to bring up my marketing schedule for one of my other businesses. And then what I'm going to say is please go through this and analyze it for actionable insights and things I should change slash be aware of. Now what this is going to do is this is going to go through and look at this. It's going to think through it, analyze it, and give me some actionable insights based on my different marketing strategies right here. And the thing that I really love about AIstudio.google.com is you can come in here and you can control almost everything. You can control the temperature, which is going to control the creativity and the response that it gives you. You could structure the output. You could have this grounded with Google search. Essentially what that does, it gives it up-to-date information and it will double check everything that it says to you with a Google search, or you could turn off the safety settings here, and you could even change how long the output is going to be when it gives you an output. So as we can see here, this literally just went through, I don't know how many pages this is, it's probably hundreds of pages because it has tracked my promotional schedule and my sales with my other business for a very long time. But this goes through now, gives us key observation, gives us different trends, and it also gives us a bunch of different action items that we should do in order to increase the sales. And then it also gives me specific recommendations here and then it gives me a summary right here on exactly what I can do to improve my business. Now, the next thing that you need to make sure you're doing is connecting Gemini to your Google Workspace. And I can guarantee that you haven't done this before. And essentially what I'm saying here is that you can now connect Gemini to every other app that is on Google. But before I show you how to do that, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date on the latest and greatest AI tools. I upload videos like this every single day and you're not gonna to wanna to miss them. In addition to that, if you go to the pinned comment below, you could sign up for AI automation school. It's going to teach you how to automate your work with AI, how to build no-code AI agents, how to make more money with AI, and it's the only way to get one-on-one -on -one feedback from me on exactly what AI tools you should be using for your specific situation, or I can help support you if you get stuck with anything. So what are you waiting for? Go to the pinned comment below and get into it right now. Now, the way that you're going to do this is by doing something that you have probably never done before with Gemini. You are going to click on this right here. You're going to see files right here. You're going to click on add files, and then I want you to click on add from drive. And now what this is going to say right here is do you want to connect to your Google workspace? And this is going to give Gemini access to your calendar, your Gmail, your drive, your Google docs, your Google tasks, and a bunch of other things. So I'm going to click on connect right here. And now we're going to be able to actually share access between all of our different Google areas and 
Gemini right here. For example, again, with this promotion schedule, let's say that we want to insert this in here. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to come in here and we're going to put one of these plans in here. And now you can see that I have an added file here and we'll also be able to see anything that we created here. For example, what I'm going to have this do right here is I'm going to say, please go through my Adam Sheriff Instagram audit and give a list of actionable insights that he should implement. Then please turn that into a new file that I'll see in files created. Now, what this is going to go ahead and do is this is now going to be able to access this and then it is going to give me actionable insights right here. And then what it's going to do is it is actually going to save this and say, great, blah, blah, blah. And what we could do is click try now right here with Canvas because you want to do this within the Canvas feature. And then this is actually going to turn this into actionable insights from that document over there. So essentially what you could get this to do is you can get this to analyze different things, create action plans off of certain things. And now we could export this as a doc right here, or we'll be able to add this into our drive or do anything else that we want to do from this right here. And it literally came up with 21 different action items that this person can take based on the plan that they were sent. But in addition to that, what you can also do in here is if you come into settings right here and click on settings and help, and then the other thing that you could do is because we have access to workspace now, this can go ahead and access all of those different items. For example, how many unread emails do I have in Gmail? It'll go through, it'll find all my different unread emails, and then guess what? I will be able to access them straight from within here. And then if I click on this, this is going to bring me directly to this Gmail thread. And I can ask this to do a ton of things. For example, I can ask it to draft up replies to all my emails and then I can e very easily just click into them and then be able to look at the draft and be able to send that reply. Or if I wanted to do things within Google Tasks, I could do that. If I wanted to do things with my Google Calendar, I would be able to do that. For example, I'm gonna say, please let me know what my schedule is today based on my calendar. And then what this is going to do is this is going to access workspace right here. This is going to access my Google Calendar. We could see that it's thinking right here. And then it gives me my schedule and all of the different things that I need to make sure that I am doing today. And then I can see all of those different things right here. And I will be able to access all of these different things. And I'll also be able to say something like, can you please add a slot for me to eat lunch from 12.15 to 12.30 on my calendar? And as we could see here, this went through and this actually added this in. And I bet that 99% of people don't even realize that this exists and that you would be able to do this once you give Gemini access to your Google workspace. Okay, now that final and last thing that you need to make sure that you're doing is you need to make sure that you have saved information in your Gemini and that you give it a system prompt whenever you go to do something. Now, in order to add in saved information, you're just going to click on your settings down here. You're going to click on saved info, and then you're gonna be able to add in anything that you want Gemini to always remember. For example, you could tell it your dietary preferences, you could give it a way to respond, you can give it certain preferences that you have, like when planning a trip, include the cost per day, or I only write code in a certain language, or I prefer my answers to be like this. And then essentially what's going to happen is every single time that you prompt Gemini with something, it is then going to hit that system and remind it of your different preferences. In addition to that though, before you ever ask Gemini a question, what you need to make sure that you do is you need to make sure that you are giving it a system prompt and you should be doing this every single time that you open up a new chat or to make this even easier, if we come into gems right here and create new gem, you can give it instructions under here. For example, I want you to be a pro YouTube titles and then if we click on this right here, this will actually rewrite the instructions to make it really long or you could literally just open up a Gemini chat and get this from this. So as we could see right here, this is very, very long. It gives purpose and goals. It gives behaviors and rules. It gives title generation. It gives best practice guidance and it gives an overall tone. If you are not prompting Gemini with things like this before you go to chat with it, guess what? 
you are not going to get the response that you actually want because you didn't actually tell the AI to give you the response the way that you actually want it. So the way that you should start off every single chat is with a system prompt like this, or if you use a gem, you could set it up for the different things that you're using Gemini for, and this actually makes it 100 times easier. Or if you're using AI Studio, what you could do is if we come in right here and we click on this, System Instructions, this is where you'll actually be able to paste those in if you're an AI Studio, but you get the point. You need to be priming Gemini in order to get it to give you the best responses in the way that you actually want a response. Now, if you like this video, you're going to love this video that walks you through seven different automations that you could set up with Manus now that Manus is free and they give you 300 credits every single day and it's going to reset every day. I'll see you over there.